let's go first of all we're going to file click on new then we'll just change to inches then this one will be five by six inches not five by five inches it's five by six inches it's great so it will give us something like this or something like this so here are the files for the work here are the pictures already removed the background here are the files so now we're standing let's get let's continue this is it so the first thing we're going to do come to the easier come to our gradient color just select select then the i already created this but let me i'll show us how to get it oh it's okay it's okay so how do i get this first and foremost i'll select from this picture this is the main picture so i'll bring it inside i'll drag it inside or increase it like so or increase it so just watch in case you want to design any work you don't know the uh, the actual color you like to use so this is one of the easiest way to get color so like this then the next thing i'm going to do I'll, I'll color grade it i'll change the color i don't like this color of the picture so i'll come to my camera row come to my camera row then come to this place i'll be dropping this preset for us so don't worry just click on the link below you see it there you can see this is the name color grade it's open so this is how it look like but what was wrong okay yes i've already created so that's why it's as if it's times two so this is it so how do i create these gradients now I'll come to gradient gradient then i just select these basics this one here it's okay then i'll come to this place i'll select the darker part of our skin this is the darker part of our skin i'll hit okay then i'll come to this place i'll select the light part of our skin so give you something like this so that was how i i come i get this so that's it so you can just try it out so the next thing i'm going to do here is to bring this picture this black and white picture or drag it inside drag it inside like this increase it a little bit and i can just increase the picture a little bit i just love the feeling on her face that's it tipos <laughs> actually this this is a girl that taught me how to use camera how to handle camera what well, back then in university she's very good at it at camera you can check her instagram handle she's very good a good, good uh, photographer so the next thing i'm going to do is i'll just change this to soft light overlay anyone i wish to so i think soft light overlay is better so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to come to this place I'll go, i'm going to create a a gradient on it or a transparent stuff on it just like this so i just drag it up like this just want to darken the damp part of the design so i can just increase it like this increase it like this it's okay so you can see we are going gradually gradually so the next thing i'm going to do just to make sure the background is very very okay i'll drag in our one of our texture one of our texture yeah i'll just reduce it so I'll change it, I'll drag it down in case it's already down. So I'll change it to soft light. So I'll just reduce the opacity to something like seven. Yeah, so this is what you get. Don't want it much. So the next thing is this, this one. I'll drag it to this place too. I'll change to 
short light still reduced to 40 yeah so this is what you get get a rough background you can just reduce get a rough background it's okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to use my uh, what's the name my text so i've already text everything out so this is t boss that's her name you can just search on instagram you see her that's our handle too so i'll paste ctrl v i'll break the text apart like this so the next thing i'm going to do i'll rotate it i'll rotate so i'll drag drag it very very drag it like so can still drag it up like this a little bit yes yeah so the next thing i'm going to do i'll just change the blending notion to overlay so if you change it overlay you see what the effect is bringing so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring the last picture which is the standing picture this picture right here so i'll just drag it inside since this is not the main picture i'll just reduce it i'll just reduce it like this so boy i can still increase it a little bit so it will give us this kind of feeling so i'll do the same thing like go to camera row and add the effect so but they add the effect so that's why i just turn it on so the next thing i'm going to do is the write up or bring happy birthday ctrl c come down here then i'll paste it paste break the text into two happy birthday so i'll just enlarge it again <coughs> sorry about that so like this just please make sure you align everything is well aligned aligned so yeah like this so i'll still change it to overlay still still soft light overlay i think soft light is much more better so the next thing I'm going to do, I don't even want it to, to appear much, so that's why I leave it like this. So, the next thing I'm going to do, I'll come to my world again, still copy this, and T-Boss imagery. Then I'll paste it again, paste. But by this time around, we are going to change the font. We are not using the same font as my name, my name smile. So this one I'm going to use more straight as the font. Like this, then I was going to use it as the median because I don't want it to be too much busy. Just want something light. Yeah, I think this one is okay. So I'll just increase the space into 75 or 200. Plus 200. Or more. Yeah think i love this i love the feeling so don't forget again you can still change it the blending option to what to soft light so change it to soft light i just want to zoom in press z on your keyboard soft light oh, let's see let's see overlay and see let's see the difference i think overlay is kind of darker so the next the last the next one is this ibadan female photograph i just going to see then paste again paste i'll break it into two like this then like this so the spacing in between is much so i'll select the boot i'll select all then the spacing zero then i'll zoom in zoom in I zoom in just to see it then I just take it here 
Yeah, I'll shift it down a little bit. Don't forget, we are still using the same effect, which is overlay. Yeah, I think this one too should be overlay. Yeah, overlay. Overlay. So, the last but not the least, last but not the least, is an the last effect that we are going to be adding to the face which is this i'll just drag this inside like this so let me reduce it a little bit so that the effect can be fired on it so i'll come to here yeah. then i'll just change to what overlay as simple as that so what you can see the effect is kind of much so i'll just reduce the opacity to this so before after so the last but not the least you just work on it you press ctrl shift alt e then we'll color grade it on camera roll go to camera roll filter then just increase the contrast a little bit Use the contrast a little bit with this increase the black a little bit the texture you can just increase if you wish yeah clarity to increase it so web brands can increase it a little bit give it something beautiful so the next thing is to come to the details increase the sharpening then i'll come to my effects then i'll increase the green because i want it to be kind of to have this kind of noise on it and i'll just increase the red this as simple as that so if i wish to to press more for that so i can just try and color gray to get the vibe which i want should understand this just try and get the vibe that i want i think this is much better So, as simple as that. So, if you know you've not subscribed, this before, this after, before, after. If you know you've not subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to do that now. I love you guys. See you in our next tutorial. Bye.